Hey everybody, it's Travis speaking. If you've been following, we've been uh, taking a look at some basic concepts with Autodesk Inventor 2014. And in the last video, we created a Rook using some basic 3D modeling techniques to create a part file. Today, when I, what I want to explore is um, a more streamlined way of creating parts, but creating multiple parts at one time in the assembly interface. So I've got the assembly interface open here, but just to give you an idea as how to how you get this template file, uh, come up to the application menu in the top left and click on New, and you'll be given the dialog box for your template files. So you can come over here to standard.iam. You'll see that we've got the chessboard project file already chosen. We're going to hit Create, and uh, it brings up that interface. So you can see I've got two two versions of this right now. So we'll just close off that new one and now we're here in the uh, the first one that I started so the first things first um, we have some some data that we're going to use already from our rook file so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this place tool and just choose the first one and it's going to bring me to this project folder that I already have set up so I'm going to grab the rook that I have and I'll say open and it's just saying place it wherever okay so I'm just going to right or left click and it places that down into the setting and that's all I need um, to get started on this so what I'm gonna do is um, come over here to the view and just change my visual style so I can see the edges on that there we go <clears throat> so if I'm going to create a chessboard for this I've already got some data that I can use and that prime piece of data is the diameter of my rook I want the uh, the square that it's going to sit on to be just a little bit bigger than that. So if I come over here to um, the inspect, I can grab that distance, and uh, if I just click on that circumference there, it tells me that it's one inch. So easily enough, I might have been able to grab that as well from the parameters. Um, I might have to expand that or go grab that from this part file but uh, easily enough I just grab that from the circumference so anyway what we'll do is we'll come back to this assemble tab and under the assemble tab you've got a create option so what this does is allow you to create a new part file within the assembly already so I'm gonna call this one I'm just gonna call it insert for the time being because it's gonna be inserted and you can see that it's gonna go into that uh, project location that we've already defined Okay, so you'll notice now um, it's saying select a sketch plane for best feature, or base feature, sorry. So what I'm going to do is put it on the bottom of the rook. So I know that the rook is going to lay directly on top of this. So now it's saying, well, what do you want to create from there? So I'll choose um, the primitives and come to box. And what I'm going to do is select the plane, if I use the view cube to take a look at this, I'm going to select that plane that's on the bottom of the rook. And because I used the rook as my origin, I know when I create this, this box, I'm going to choose the center point of my rook and it'll be the exact square around it. Okay, so let's just create a sketch on that same plane and we can use the rectangle tool. I'll use a three-point rectangle because I'm going to use that circumference. So if it's um, one inch, I'd want um, maybe a quarter inch on either side. So let's type in 1.5. We'll hit enter. And then we'll type in another 1.5 and hit enter. And now I've got a perfect square for the bottom for that chest piece to house. So as so I click on finish sketch, I'm just going to extrude that and I'm going to extrude it down but I'm only going to go down um, a quarter of an inch so a good thing to do anytime you're going to do something like this is make a rough sketch, I've got one over here showing me uh, some simple dimensions, just think it out a little bit in advance and then any of the variables you can massage out from Inventor so it's really nice because you can go into the parameters and change those dimensions after the fact. So again, one quarter inch, that should do it. We'll say okay. 
and now the question is what kind of material do I want this to be this is um, a black rook on a black square let's just make it the same I think it was polished black that I used Okay, so now we've got a similar material. So with that done, I can come over here where it says return. And now you'll see that I've got two parts in my assembly, uh, my assembly model browser. Okay, so that's creating the one part. Um, so in the next portion of this video set, we're going to take a look at laying these out. Um, we're going to create some more parts, but uh, we're gonna also going to explore patterns with the parts that we're going to make. So we're going to make a couple more parts in the next segment and um, then we'll finish up this chessboard.